Hey, Captain Mike here from Forbes Fishing, and I'm at the Javits Center at the New York City Boat Show. And I'm here with Jesse Dworkin uh, from World Cat Boats, and we're on the 40 CCS. CCS. So, Jesse, why don't you tell us about this boat? So I work for Island Yacht Sales. We are a World Cat Everglades and Sailfish dealer in Lindenhurst, New York. And we just became the World Cat dealer for Long Island Territory, or New York Territory. And here we are on the new 40 CCS. Starting from the bow, working back. It's a very unique feature for a cat. Is that the windlass system actually comes in from the side. And there is a roller so that your anchor line or your anchor rope goes directly still out the bow of the boat. So that's a unique feature for you know any type of catamaran. Is that a free fall windlass? I believe it is a free fall windlass. There's your safety catch in there, so. You won't drop your anchor while you're running. There's also ample space up here to, Cleat to tie off with the cast from. Also, so, so there is a YouTube video already with me fishing this boat <laughs> that you could check out. What did you catch that day? We caught, I believe, 12 yellowfin tuna in the Hudson Canyon. I'm sure everyone knows about that bite that went on in September and October. It was great fishing. Yeah, and, uh, you could I, was, really... I was there in uh, August when it, when it was dead. Yeah. <laughs> you could really see how the boat works well for that type of fishing in that video because we are literally fighting six fish on, at the same time, just working the whole whole bow of this boat. Yeah, one benefit has to be how these seats, uh, you could actually relocate them to the center. and I, Right, I... so these work as a coffin box as well to ice your catch, and there's also a ton more ample fish storage on this boat. When it slides and it has a locking track, you can also slide them both together. Now you have a sunshade or what would we would consider a coffin box for fishing. Ample rod storage on both sides. So, see what I really like about this is uh, the rod ra the rod racks where I could clear rods on a, on a center console boat. If you have your rods in the gunnel and you're one trying thing, to work a fish around, they, about a you might as well not have a center console. Like here, I can actually clear eight rods and get them up out of the way. And I suspect if these are out, these are probably rod holders as well, right? Yes. Wow. So I can get twelve just here and. Uh, I mean, there's also a huge bow locker here that is also more rod storage. A little bit of side storage protected by, you know, a sea deck product to keep everything from scratching. Yeah, this is usually awkward storage space on most cats, so having a rack in there that you could do, uh, you could do your uh, yeah, you gaffs, do gaffs, you could do, you could do your boat you know, pole. That's it, yeah, you know, your dock. Like you said, bow pole, anything, line pushers, stuff harpoon. Like that, harpoons. Yep, I love it. You know, everything is sealed. Everything is well finished inside and out. It seals on the top so you don't rub them off when you're exactly. throwing stuff in there. Always a good all idea. All these latches and poles are all locking as well, so you'd be able to lock your rods in there. Jesse, I see magnets on top of this hatch. Right, so I know if you're a boater, you probably hate the snaps on all cushions like every boater does so absolutely they have magnetized all of their what would be snaps which is super easy and nice it's as easy as that they don't fly away they actually stay put which is another benefit and feature absolutely like i said with these they're all locking you know great great storage for drinks as well we could fit our standard yellow fins in there. Absolutely. <laughs> Not the big Everything, ones. Everything's all insulated as well. So that's How about quick. this deck storage over here? I didn't notice it until we moved the... Uh, now, these do have it's water, access to water. Your, your bilge stuff. That, that right there is your water tank. 
You also have, I believe, your toilet plumbing is there for your overboard discharge. Uh, yeah, I saw the macerator pump there. So everything with these boats too, for some mono hull would be everything for the most part is super accessible. I'll say. What's the storage on the under the gunnel here? So this is all this so the one thing about this boat is that there is rod storage like you would not believe. Like no other boat really I've ever seen. Oh yeah. Same thing. Six more rod alders. You know, these slide out. Same thing with the sea deck padding here to keep the boat from getting scratched, the reels from getting scratched. I love it. Really pretty innovative. I'll say. What a good use of space that's typically Absolutely. wasted. Absolutely. They, they pretty much used every bit of space they possibly could on this boat here. What's up, dog? Now, what I love about this boat is this fish box. I mean, you can't really tell because it's filled with your Coast Guard stuff, but... Well, those are those are monster 10-inch uh, bumpers, right. and there's got to be four of them in there. So I will say, when we <laughs> when we went fishing, I was able to get an easy 450 pounds of ice on both sides, and the 12 yellowfin I was able to get in one box alone. So how long did that ice last on that run? That ice was still in the boat. I think four to five days after the trip. So very well insulated, sealed. I mean, really all you could ask for in a fish box. I mean, it's even big enough, you could probably get a smaller big eye or a big bluefin in this box as well. And, and Jesse, come September, uh, here in New Jersey where you're fishing, we still have uh, 90 degree days. Oh yeah. Absolutely. So I mean, for ice to last that long uh, here is really a big deal. Yeah. I, I don't want to move past this feature here, so we'll check this out okay. real quick. Okay, yeah. Obviously, these are your drain plugs, too, to drain these boxes mm -hmm. down. But, you have a nice, you know, bow seating area here, and then a head with ample room to use. Uh, Jesse, uh, heads on cats are a pretty rare thing. Uh, this is kind of set up like a, you know, more of a contemporary yeah, center a, console. Yep, more of a model hall center console. There's a very nice sink there. You got, it's a freshwater toilet, so you won't have to deal with the smells from, you know, sea yeah. water. There's a great light in there. Also, there's all more electronic rigging. Super well laid out, neat. Battery switches and shore power would be there. Yeah, everything in this boat is super accessible. Uh, that's one of the greatest features of it. It's a little window in there to give you some ventilation. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, almost unheard of on a on a cat. This also. For me, it doubled as I also stored, because when we go offshore, we take a lot of rods. I was able to lock some of my rods and reels and, and even just general gear in here, because like I said, everything is locking, which is nice. Mm -hmm. So if you ever wanted to leave your stuff at the marina or anything like that, you're able to lock it. Now this fish box, a mirror image of the other mirror side. Mirror image of the other side. We didn't open that one yet, though. Along with another locker there for rod storage. That mirror is another six. So here, you just have general dry storage. Looks like I've got a uh, diaphragm pump there for something. Right, so that is the, that is the, what essentially you would call the macerator for the fish box, which does work very well. You do have to be a little bit careful of what gets in there, but you can put a, you can put a screen in the, the fish box. That you know, pumps your fish box over. You know, it's funny, my, my bow had uh, two macerator pumps. I've swapped them out already for that. That's a gulper yep. uh, diaphragm pump right gulper there. Diaphragm. Uh, and it works way better. I mean, yeah. the, um, the macerator that I had, uh, they, they died within a couple of years. Yeah. I so, love, I love This was this. great. And obviously, if you look up here to this hole, so if you have long popping rods or eight foot six, you know, longer casting rods, no problem on this boat. They wow. Uh, eight. Another eight. 
I've it's never even counted the 18 rods. Rod there, 18 rods hard. that I could just clear and right. get off of the gunnels. Oh. <laughs> I love it. So we'll move to the centerpiece here, the helm, which is another amazing feature on this boat. Super comfortable, very well laid out, great like standing the, position. I like the three up seating. Absolutely. How, um, wide's, how wide's the beam on this boat? 12, 8, yeah, I was going to say 13. I know it's wide. Like I said, I fished it. It's, uh, yep. it's an unbelievable platform. So you have dual Garmin, I think these are 22s. Where? I believe 22s. Boy, they fill up that space, huh? Yeah, so these boats all come standard with digital switching. So this is basically your switching on this boat. It allows you to turn everything on through your Garmin, and there's also backup regular switches. But it controls all systems on board. Even this boat is offered with either an inverter or a generator. So it does have heat and air conditioning. This particular model does not have that. Mm -hmm. And it also comes with two sea keepers as an option. Really? So, the boat that I fished had twin sea keepers on it. Now, you can imagine with a cat at a 13 foot beam, this boat is stable to begin with. With two sea keepers on, it really doesn't matter what the ocean's doing as far as drifting. Now, does a, does a cat, and I apologize for not being familiar with this, does a cat basically need two because of the two holes? Or? I don't believe so, because I have ran just the one, and it still works unbelievably. And those will work at speed as well, not just drifting, you know. We ran back from the Hudson Canyon in a solid three-foot beam sea on the boat, and super comfortable and dry, no roll whatsoever. And we were still able to make like 33 to 35 knots. With it coming in on the on the on side. The wow. Like a, like not a three foot roll either, like a three foot tight <laughs> slamming from the side. We were still able to make an easy 35 knots. Like I said, comfortable. There's a ton of features here in this helm. These boats don't come standard, but a lot of them come with a 3KW shoot through transducer that's in hull so you never lose bottom in this boat and i've also daytime sword fish this boat down in florida and 1500 feet of water and easily marking fish so we must have digital switching that yeah all, di all digital switching here so you can pretty much control everything from here whether it be lighting you know colors <laughs> you could turn certain lights off certain lights on That'll be big for my Miami viewers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, pretty much anything that's on the boat that is switched can be controlled from here. And what's nice is if you ever had a problem with your electronics, your main features that you would need to use, there's always backup, mm -hmm. you know, standard, what not would be the typical standard switch to, you know, most boaters, but these are what's considered for digital switching, yep. your standard switches. Absolutely. So... Those are two nice things. The cup holders that are all lit up, which I've never seen until this model boat. But you also have dry storage here. They put a nice USB in, in both That's sides. Where your cell phone goes, I guess. Yep, nice dry storage for your phone with a charger. This boat is equipped with twin Yamaha 425, so you have a joystick. Now, just so your thoughts on, uh, I think they'll put the 450 on it when they become They available. make this boat with twin 600 Mercs. And they also make this boat with quad 300. So the Yamaha 450 right. won't be out of question. I, it's the no, same weight as the four yeah. quarter, right? Yeah, this boat, this is um, this model year. So next model year, if you choose the Yamaha option, it would probably be twin 450s. The boat does come. The boat that you ran that day. Twin uh, 425s. And uh, what, do you remember any of the, like, because you were loaded down for fishing with ice loaded and with, down for with fishing, guys? You're looking at, as far as mile per gallon, you're looking at probably 0 0.7, 0 0.8. It will do one to one with a light load. It's a 40 foot boat, and you were geared for an uh, offshore Absolutely geared fishing for trip, offshore so. fishing. You know, How many guys? That's six guys. Wow. 450 pounds of ice on each side. Uh, seven, eight flats of bait. And six guys that hadn't missed a meal in a while, right? right? Exactly. So. <laughs> like you and I. Exactly. So, you know, we were loaded down pretty good. And to see that, to see that mileage is really, that's really reflective of the cat, cat style haul. You know, Jesse, what's the fuel capacity on this boat? 604. Wow. With an option, I believe, for more. I'm not 100% positive on the option for the 
extra, you know, tankage, but I know it holds 604. Geez, with with uh, with 604, and even if you're close to a one to one, yeah, I mean, where the heck are you going? Mahareen. Where the heck are you yeah. going? <laughs> and I believe that this engine package here is. Me, I, would, I don't want to say inefficient, but on the lesser side of the efficiency, I think it actually goes up with the 600 Verado and the quad 300s. Maybe they're working, they're working, working a little a easier. a little bit less hard to push the boat, so. I think the quad 300s weigh less than two yeah. uh, of the V8 Yamas. Yeah, the quad 300s on this boat, I know. I'm, I'm sorry, not four of them. Three of them weigh less than yeah. the quad. Quad 300s on this boat, though, I believe it puts the boat somewhere in the, in the mid-60s as far as the top speed. This boat, the way it sits here with the twin 425s, you see around 45, 48 miles per hour, which I'd say standards isn't the fastest, but you it's know. It's a 40-foot boat. Right, it's a 40-foot boat, and you also I mean, have on. the option to build this boat with quads or twin 600s. So, another feature here in the helm that I think is really cool. Oh, yeah, for a shorty. Here's a step. I like it. So, now yeah. you have a super, super easy view. You know, if you're ever running in any low light conditions. I love it. You know. There's also a windshield vent. That's a nice little feature on this. And a wiper. Yeah, and the wiper works unbelievably well. Uh, in the, let me ask you, uh, since I know, I know that run that you made, um, but I obviously don't know this boat, was the wiper in use when... No. Uh, no, was it, not, wasn't windy no, at all? No, not, well, it was windy, but not in that BMC. This boat. Okay. Wow. This boat is actually unbelievably dry. I've also ran this same boat from New York to Florida, and I've ran it in um, some rough, some rough weather offshore. Obviously, it depends on the direction, but I would say it takes every bit of 15, 20 before you need that that windshield wiper. It's unbelievably dry. I'll tell you though, when you when you need it. You're sure happy you have it, yeah, not a, not an Isinglass curtain right. that you can't. This windshield is 100% waterproof too. I mean, it's completely enclosed. So, mm -hmm. if you choose to put wings on this boat or any type of Isinglass enclosure, I mean, you can really, you know, you know the falls and the springs that we go through on Long Island and in yep. New Jersey. You know, when you're fishing in cold weather, I mean, we fished it. It was still relatively warm, but it could have been cold. You know, so. Oh. Uh, by by the fall, uh, I've got my wings on the boat just because uh, they're they're easier to fold out of the way when right. it's really nice out, or when you need to get by. And yeah, and then get soaked and have to have multiple changes of clothes yeah. and all that good stuff. Let's see, it looks like I got storage under the yeah, under uh, the home seats. There's a good so. amount of tackle storage on this boat as well. Nice little rigging yep. draw. Individual yep. Plano boxes. Uh, I assume same on the other side. Same on the other side. Now they do offer this boat with a. I believe they offer it with a factory, with a factory tower. If you want it that way. You know we got ladder rungs here, so I was kind of, a, and we have a cutout to make it easier to get up there. Uh, yeah, and it's so. a nice feature too if you ever want to wax the roof or, or clean the roof or put antennas down or put lights down. I mean every year when I put the, yourself when I put the cover on my boat, I got to get on the right. roof and. And another insane feature of this boat, fishing guys will love it if you're entertaining as well. Wow, yep. So your flip out rigging station or, you know, cocktail station. Love it. More rod holders, I, you when know, we're, storage. When I'm, um, depending on what, how we're fishing, if we're bottom fishing off the wrecks uh, and reefs off of New Jersey, we typically have our gear laid out here while yep. people are all over the boat, you know, you're coming back here, you're grabbing another rig or something. Yeah, and it's nice. It's it's also sea deck. They yep. become standard this way, so sinkers aren't rolling around, banging, making noise, stuff like that. Did um is uh, with six guys? I'm sure you had three. You were running three at the helm seats, and yeah, the other two, three were hanging here yeah, on the ride out. Actually, two were sitting here on the on the ride out, and then one was up front because it was it was really nice in the morning. 40 miles an hour of wind eventually gets to you and you yes. gotta come back for some coverage. But um, this box here is like your drink storage, a cooler. It yeah, also doubles funny. as a live well. There's actually a selector valve that you can make this a live well oh, as well. Really? Yep, and I believe it's also an option to have this refrigerated. So if you want, if you get the generator option or the power inverter option on this boat, you can refrigerate this and that can keep your drinks cool. You also have a cup holder and a rod holder.
holder here. And power outlets. USBs at your seats on both sides. Right. And even more rod storage along the gunnels here. And it's all backed with C deck. So then you move to. Jesse, any options to do rod holders on yes. these legs? Not on the legs, I believe, but the boat that I fish does have a quad rocket launcher on both sides. So there's eight across the top. Because that's a, I mean, you know, 90% of boats, uh, that, that's where you're clearing your rods are on these yeah. ones. And, but these are good for too. Fortunately, on this boat, you don't have to. Boat I fished also, <laughs> yeah. there is an option. You can put a, a rocket launcher in the cockpit here. Oh. So I had a four rod rocket launcher on the, in the cockpit on this as well. Now you move to the lazarette areas. So this actually, well, it actually is another fish box mm -hmm. that also is macerated. But if you get sea keepers on this boat, this is where they will be. Okay. And that will be the same on both sides. So you have more fish storage, or if you know you choose the option for sea keepers, that is where they're mounted. But you know, for even for uh, mounting a sea keeper here, maintaining them has got to be so easy. I mean, yeah. uh, I've seen them. I've seen so many boats recently where they've uh, retrofitted right. a sea keeper yep. into a place that doesn't really deserve for yep. it to be, and you can't yeah, get at it. Yeah, uh, it's it's nice. You're able to get the cover off the sea keeper actually without. Sometimes some boats you would have to actually cut fiberglass to get them. <laughs> Which is and, nice about this, you don't have to do that. And someone like me could get their, uh, I could actually maneuver back in Right, there. and this is one thing I love about this boat too, and it, it's unbelievable what I've been able to get in this box for storage. Yeah, we've got our, we've got our bilge, we've got our batteries, got our water separator. Right, and nothing there is terrible to service. we got another gulper. Super easy to get to. Is this a battery charger over here? Yeah, that's, oh, the, charger. Okay. that's the charger for this this yeah. bank, this battery. Got a high water alarm. It high water like. alarm, fully automatic bilge, and everything's finished underneath. Yep. Nice smooth fiberglass. There we go. Uh, gel coat. I'm sorry. So shore power resets, breaker, and here's your wash down here. Which is kind of cool. They give you this coil hose, just comes out, tuck it back away. That's neat. What's that, a tube in there? What? Yeah, it's a tube. Huh. And they plumb it straight in so you don't have to mess with it. I'm always, I mean, I end up leaving my wash down hose on, on the, the deck, deck yeah. like while you're fishing, just yeah. because it's such a pain in the ass. So. Knife storage, more yeah. tackle storage. That's here. And then, love it. Have a nice little fresh water sink. Yeah. Also doubles as a cutting board as well. Now this is your drink storage. And what's cool about this also. Mm -hmm. Refrigerated plates. Refrigerated plates. It's not on here right now. It's somewhere in the boat. But this also has another inset cutting board here. Oh yeah, I can see the mount. Yep, that, that holds. Holy cow, what a live well. Super <laughs> impressive. So I brought a live spot with me to the canyon when mm -hmm. we jumped on that trip. Unbelievably large live well. And it's lighted. It is also pressurized. Let's see if this yep. boat is equipped with... It is. Yep. It is equipped with a hooker pump box. This is like the most fancy live well you Absolutely. can get. Absolutely. It's pressurized. Never, never loses any water. Uh, never loses any water. That bait, no matter how rough the ocean is, that bait will sit there like it's swimming in the ocean. Wow. We get a nice view of uh, how well the uh, that fish box behind you is insulated. Yep. Holy cow. Look at the spray foam on that. Very nice. So This is a gorgeous live well. It's is unbelievable. You know, I think I like the idea of the cover on the, because my live wells are just the... Yeah, uh, eventually the acrylic gets beat up. My acrylic, because I walk across them. Right. Like when I first hop on the boat from yep. the dock, I walk across the, the lids and they're all scuffed up. And and not to mention the sun is baking them. Yeah, exactly. The acrylic, baking eventually, baking. eventually it's going to get cloudy. So, really Je cool. Jesse, take me out on the stern here. I've never... Uh, 
I've never fished a boat that had this big of a swim platform. So this swim platform is, is a pretty cool, pretty cool feature on the boat. When we fished it, we were able to actually, we were able to stay put in the same spot and continue our chum slick, our chunk slick. So we were able to just work the fish right across the back. So you come to this engine, you come out here, and you're able to come right across. If you're taking the family to the beach or you're swimming or anything like that, this ladder flips down. Oh, it's magnetic. Yeah, nice and easy to board. Uh, man, there's not much else to say about the swim platform aside from it just gives you a ton more room. I'll say. You know, easy boarding, which is nice for the family. I love these XCOs, the rigging, like everything's in the rigging tube. There's no other, no other electrical connection, no, no nothing except the rigging tube. Just such a clean setup. Come standard with these fancy fender clips and you set your lines for your fenders. Yep. You never have to take them off. You just leave them connected to the fender when you're pulling up to a dock. What's what's behind the um, flag wall there? This just is access. The shuttle valve. Oh, okay. And I'm not sure that this one's plumbed that way, but the diverter valve, if you wanted to use that as a live well, would also be in here. If yeah, you, you can get to feet. everything on this boat. You don't have to worry about, you know, climbing under something to get access to anything. And this is coming from someone who works on them. Oh, yeah, work on them, fish them. So it's a it's a true real review here. Yeah, there's an awesome, you know, port side entrance here. Folds in like they like in. they should. There's a couple manufacturers still letting them fold out. I don't know how you pull up to a dock like that. Yeah. I mean, what's the sense? So what's nice is if you back the boat into a slip, you could back into your port side. You can get on and off without climbing over the gunnels, you know, banging up the bolsters, stuff like that. So, cool feature. Yeah, just beautiful, beautiful package. And, uh, now, Jesse, any any sense on uh, like retail pricing for like where they I start? I believe at? this boat is somewhere in the nines. Excellent you know, deal for a forty yeah, footer. Yeah, so it they've definitely captured the market here as far as production boat too because it's well under a freeman or an invincible and uh there's also it also varies with the power options of course so excellent and i can tell you the ride is I, i've been on both those boats and it's very comparable so it's definitely a, a player and a contender now in the in the cat game yeah absolutely can see that wow well, Jesse, listen, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, I really appreciate your time. I hope you guys have a great show. Thank you. And uh, maybe I'll see you out there fishing off of Absolutely. Long Island this summer. Thank you very much, you buddy. You got it.